and I can see who swiped on me first. So like I go through those and I can kind of filter through that. At one point it was like 8,000 likes. But in my mind, this is the average man on Tinder. Because the very first line in my description box, it says no FWB and no pervert. I will not talk to a pervert in Korean. Then I'll still get likes from people whose profile name is FWB. And it's like, yeah, you don't know how to read. And also there will be people in their description box that says no African American, no white, no foreigner, only Korean. And they swiped on me. I'm like, who gonna tell them? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd do a get ready with me because I haven't done one of those in a while and I actually have somewhere to get ready to go to. So usually when it's in the springtime, I like to wear my hair out and back and out of my face because pollen gets caught all up in it. So I've been wearing this ponytail since it got spring and warm out. This is me, my hair. So for today's look, uh, I'm actually going on not a date. I don't know, like what is it? Let me know in the comments. What is the difference between meeting someone for the first time and going on a date? Cause we're doing one of those, I don't know. I am wearing a headband wig from World New Hair. The good thing I like about headband wigs, like I said, when it's springtime, I don't want hair in my face. It gets caught in the pollen, it gets in my bangs. Like you can see I got my bangs clipped to the side. I'm wearing a ponytail and keeping my hair half up out of my face because pollen is not my friend in the spring. I actually have a really funny story about this wig. So the other day, my friend, the girl I'm staying with, she's going blonde. Like, you know, sometimes that takes a few days and it takes some time if you want to be careful. You got to condition it, do it again, condition it some more. So you, you got to be careful. So she works every day. She's an English teacher here. She went blonde. It wasn't quite the color she wanted to show the world. So she wanted to keep it conditioned, but she's like, I can't go to work like this with a, a shower cap on my head. So she borrows this wig, right? It's a headband wig and it's big enough to accommodate all her curls underneath with a plastic bag over and nobody knew. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? So yeah, um, I'm gonna t put this on, do my makeup a little bit before I head out because I don't know what's been going on lately, but um, I've been able to meet nice, normal guys in Korea for the past like month or so. Just gonna prop this on in here. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit also about what my dating experience has been like for the past month because it's, it's been shocking the hell out of me. The most shocking part of it all is I've met all of these guys from Tinder. I know, right? I know, right? I've met up with like six different guys since I came back to Korea and got out of quarantine. And one thing that I will say I think makes the biggest difference, it's so much easier to talk with someone who has like studied abroad, lived abroad, or worked abroad because there's certain things you don't really have to like explain to them. They kind of just get it from their time abroad. So it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna use the, have you guys ever heard of this? It's called the Timo, it's a, a Timo, just a brand. It's like a flat iron brush or comb. And while that heats up, I'm gonna do my face because I look like a weirdo. Honestly, the most important thing to me is eyebrows. Like, I'm nothing without my eyebrows. I'm thinking about getting them microbladed again, but I kind of want them to fade a little bit more because I like this higher arc that I've been wearing. And there's a few smudges where it's like lower. So anyway, that's the thing. Like, what's the difference between a date and just meeting someone for the first time? I don't fully understand it. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you, I got friend zone like really hard last month. And it's funny because from his profile pictures and like what was in his description box, I wasn't like interested. It wasn't ever a like that. But my friend brought up the term reverse catfish because I think that's what happened where he looked way better in person than he did in his pictures. And he didn't have a lot on his bio. So I didn't know that much about him, but he was so interesting when I met up with him in person. And he was a Virgo and I fell hard. <laughs> And I was like, you know, I, I get the feeling we're just friends, which is fine. But then he started to flirt with me a little bit. So I thought, oh, wow, is this happening? And then he said, hey, I just want to be clear. Like, I'm only looking for friends. And I'm like, got it. But yeah, since then, um, I've met up with like four guys from Tinder. I've had a busy week. So like two weekends ago, I met up with this really nice guy. He studied in Chicago for a few years. 
And um, we went to get Makoli. I love Makoli. Like everyone talks about Soju, but I don't think Makoli gets the rep it deserves. Makoli is dope. This eyebrow is always so hard because I want to keep my scar exposed. It makes me unique. I used to get teased for it as a kid. Now I see people cutting their eyebrows on purpose. I'm like, y'all don't even know. Oh yeah, by the way, this is just some cheap little eyebrow pencil. It's only like $2 from a Tude House. So yeah, um, I went to get Makoli with this guy. I haven't had Makoli in so long. I actually like Makoli more than Soju. And it was this Yuja Makoli. It was so good. And then I love to go for walks. Like y'all, I've been walking a lot lately. If you follow me on Instagram, which you really should, you see, you see that I've been walking like so much, over 10,000 steps a day. My record right now is 24,000. But I just get in the zone, just listening to music, sightseeing. I like to walk around before it gets too hot because once it gets hot, I go into reverse hibernation and I can't be bothered. This is the Mega Glow Hello Halo Wet n Wild highlight. It was cheap, so I got it. That was really fun. And we're actually gonna meet up again tomorrow once he gets off of work. That's the, my biggest problem is people being too busy. Like, I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised by how many people haven't been like pervy F-boys. A lot are, oh my God, a lot still are. Do not get me wrong. And then after that, that was like two weekends ago. So then, I'm trying to go in order. Like I said, it's, it's been a lot. Not to, not to brag. <laughs> uh, last week, what did I do last week? Oh, Wednesday, I met up with someone for brunch. That was really good. And then he's actually Korean American, but very new to Korea. So I wanted to show him the cherry blossoms in Jamshil. It's like a, this really pretty lake near Lotte Tower and Lotte World is like on it and it's really pretty. And I actually worked on a cherry blossom vlog for my channel members. So if you guys wanna, wanna see this vlog, see some pretty places in Seoul, you can go to see cherry blossoms. I recommend becoming a channel member. Friday, last Friday, it was really busy. I met up with two guys in the same day. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we met up near Yoido and we walked around to see the cherry blossoms. A lot of people when they meet up, they want to go to like a cafe. The reason I don't really like that is because, you know, being a foreigner, you already get stared at anyway. But I like to be outdoors because it's more COVID safe on top of that. And I can kind of talk about whatever and however loud I want without worrying about so many people just staring because that happens all the time. And it makes me self-conscious. So I've been, every time we meet up, I'm like, let's go for a walk by Han River. So yeah, we keep doing that. So we started in Yeoido, then we walked across the bridge and went to Hapjong, and then we went up to Hongdae, which this is my 24,000 steps day, it was a lot. And then later that night, uh, I was actually on my way back home because I'm like, well, everything closes at 10 anyway. My friends are still at work, there's nothing to do, it's getting too crowded, I'm gonna leave. And uh, this guy, he watched my YouTube, and look, I have a special place in my heart for the guys who watch my videos because I do bag on guys, but only when it's justified. So. There are a few who have been loyal and sticks around and try to offer different perspectives and can, you know, understand where the criticism is coming from. So I respect that. And he said, hey, let's meet up for drinks in Itaewon. I'm like, yo, I'm down. And we went to this really cool lounge in Itaewon called, uh, I think it was called 323. Ooh, I feel old. I was in high school, I feel old. <laughs> It was actually a very chill, lit place. Like there was a DJ right there and they were playing like some old school joints. I was like, oh snap, like where are we? So I was very impressed. But he's actually about to go back to the States on Sunday, so that's kind of sad. Cause he was really nice, he was a really cool dude. Oh yeah, and this. I literally, <laughs> I got this eyeliner from Daiso for 3,001 because honestly, I, I don't need eyeliner to be waterproof because when I want it to come off I just want it to come off like unless I plan to cry hysterically then I'm good so that's another question I have for y'all how young is the youngest you would ever go when you're like dating someone or talking to them because I will be 28 next week and I met up with a 23 year old <laughs> yeah yeah I know birthday's later this year so he was born in 97 but it was actually really fun even <laughs> like I said I like to do a lot of walking and I felt bad because he got tired. And then he's talking about how he likes to go to the gym. And I'm like, well, this is why you're not supposed to skip leg day. <laughs> I gotta say, I love how easy it is to style a wig like this. I literally can just pop it on. I don't have to worry about laying stuff down, putting the baby hair. I mean, I can if I want, if I want to be extra fancy, but my is already kind of kind of where I want them to be. So yeah, we went for, um, there's this cafe at this bridge called Dong, Dong, Dongjok Bridge. And it's like an e-mart. And uh, there's like a cafe, a rooftop area. So we went up there and talked and he was a student in California. 
he really wants to go back soon. And we actually spent most of the day talking about life in Cali. We walked a lot, took pictures, and we like we talked a lot about like you know cultural differences and stuff. And I was like, yeah, you know, as a foreigner, you get stared at a lot. And he kept making jokes like, oh, how do you know they're not looking at me? I was like, okay, every person that walks by, and it's usually an old man or an old woman, let me know who who they're staring at when you look at them. So after a while, he's like, all right, I'm gonna give you that one. They definitely looking at you. <laughs> and then we went to I Park, and we got drinks and food. And I felt really proud of myself because you know I'm getting old. I'm getting older, y'all. It happens. But like he was 23 and he was tired after all that walk and I was like, I'm good to go. And we end up going to a bar to get some drinks, even though they close at 10, everything closes at 10 in Seoul. So that kind of sucked. Kai, leave me alone. I'm filming a video. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to you. If y'all hear him, ignore him, I'm sorry. That was actually one of the biggest compliments I think I got. Um, when I went to brunch on that Wednesday with that guy, Again, I'm not saying names. I do want to respect their privacy. Even though I can talk about what happened, nothing bad happened. Shockingly, these were all really nice, normal encounters. So I'm just still not gonna put people's names out there because I don't want every encounter I have in my personal life, or I don't want everyone to worry about when they hang out with me that they're gonna be blasted all over YouTube, you know? So I will talk about, you know, what happens because it's my life too, but I'm not going into names, heights, descriptions, details, nothing like that. Yeah, I, that was probably like the biggest compliment I ever got because he told me that I was really energetic, which which was really a compliment because I still consider myself to be very much an introvert. Dr. Geo, this K-Beauty cushion for black folks. Yes, and this is the shade Ella. Ella, Ella, eh. These days I consider myself to be more social than I've ever been. I still, um, don't get me wrong, I'm still an introvert because what would happen if I'm in like a crowded situation or with a lot of people, I'm not gonna talk. I'm definitely not gonna be the one to start the conversation because I don't wanna say something weird or stupid to have you looking at me like, the fuck? But if I'm just in a one-on-one -on -one situation, it's just me and one person, it's a lot easier for me to talk. It's a lot easier for me to talk to my camera because it's just a camera. Y'all can't judge me, not, like not to my face. I'm sure you do, just not to my face. So hearing people tell me that like I'm energetic and I'm bubbly, that's like such a compliment because all my life, that has been something that I've always wanted to be more like. So it, it really meant a lot that people are seeing me as like more talkative and bubbly in person. I was like, okay, this is personal growth. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing all this on my face. Honestly, I think just because I'm on camera, I'm gonna put on makeup on my whole face, but my mask is gonna be on it. So I usually don't do anything from here down. It's all been eyes and brows lately. I think another thing that I strongly believe is the older you get, the more confident you feel because me at like 21, I was not really all that confident. Like I never thought I was like an ugly person by any means. Like I've always been like, I'm really pretty. Well, not always. After high school, I felt pretty confident in how I look. But I think once I hit 26 is when I was like, I like me. And I think that's, you know, I think I'm a catch. So I've been actually really shockingly having a lot of fun going out to meet random new guys. <laughs> Who would have thought that would be a sentence that would come out of my mouth in Korea? nothing's going anywhere because I don't live here anymore so it's a whole different ball game from when I used to live here as an English teacher but it's always good practice too to interact with the opposite gender see how you are around them meeting people getting to know what you like and don't like so yeah I've been kind of lucky in that regard but yeah um tomorrow is actually gonna be the first time I'm doing a second meetup like a follow-up with the same person with the exception of Ilhyung y'all met him in the Ghana video so he's been busy as fuck with studying I haven't seen him in like two weeks <laughs> So I think this is my final look, this headband wig. And I like how I can just kind of toss it over, you know? I'm thinking about coloring this part, like maybe like a blue. Kai. So yeah, this is 18 inches. Show you how it curls a little bit. Yeah, look at that. I should have did that first. It's so much quicker. I don't know if COVID has changed some people because it, it is weird to think how there are still people actively now in real time trying to hook up with strangers during a pandemic. During a whole ass pandemic, you want a stranger. People catch more than STDs these days, they catch COVID. Guess I'll do a little bit of lipstick, even though again, because of masks, no money's gonna know. How would they know? But just for a more complete get ready with me video. It's good to do these talks with y'all every now and then. So yeah, long story short, I've been in Korea since February, free from quarantine for almost two months now. And uh, meeting new people has gone pretty well. Like, again, I'm trying to figure out what the difference now is because when I lived here as a teacher, I only met people who wanted to come over and Netflix and chill or eat ramen and chill or go to a DVD bomb. 
But now I've been meeting people who actually just want to get to know people and make foreign friends and make friends and get to know you. So yeah, this is, it's been shocking, but pretty refreshing. Don't get me wrong, like I'm not saying that they're all gone. I'm not saying the fuckboys have ceased to exist. They're still there. You see people's profile pictures are their STD results. Don't need to know all that. Uh, their names are after, and it's funny. Actually, no, that's, that's okay, since we talking, I'm almost done. <laughs> I decided to get back on Tinder during quarantine. Like I had my account, but I didn't have the app in my phone anymore. So I get back on. And then a few weeks ago, I decided to try the, the trial, like the premium Tinder Plus trial. I gotta remember to cancel that before I'm charged. And I can see who swiped on me first. So like I go through those and I can kind of filter through that. At one point it was like 8,000 likes. I was like, oh no. But in my mind, this is the average man on Tinder. Because the very first line in my description box is in Korean, it says no FWB and no pervert. I will not talk to a pervert in Korean. Then I'll still get likes from people whose profile name is FWB. And it's like, yeah, you don't know how to read. And also there will be people in their description box that says no African American, no white, no foreigner, only Korean. And they swiped on me. I'm like, who gonna tell them? Like clearly y'all not reading. If you read, you save yourself a lot of time. But I've been meeting a lot of nice normal people. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. So if you're interested in this hair at all, I will link it in the description box below. World new hair, 18 inches, first headband wig, and I really like it. But since it's a headband wig, I can also toss it up. Looks from the side and whatnot. And then with this highlight on the top like down the middle, it kind of gives me Jenny vibes from how you like that? I'm never gonna do that again, I promise. So uh, we're gonna go to a cafe, cause that's, uh, that's what they do here. And I'll update y'all a little bit later, if that, see how that goes. So, thanks for watching. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Annyeong.